Oh, hey. I'm here. Good evening. Hey, how are we all doing tonight? Um, so... Oops. Open another program. Uh, by accident. Hey, 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 how's it going? How's it going, everyone? How is it going? How's it going, dude? Can't stream that on Twitch. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think you could stream House Party. It's, uh... It's... Unless you censor it, and even then, I think the game might just be banned by Twitch. Hey, I'm here. I took yesterday off since I did an absolute eight-hour... Eight-and-a-quarter-hour chonker of a stream on, uh, on Monday. I keep thinking it was Sunday. It wasn't. Sunday, I did do a stream. But, uh, it was just Battle Network. Monday, I streamed, uh, the World Ends With You demo. This, Battle Network. And I also streamed myself eating, uh, ice cream. Everything is currently up on YouTube now, except for Battle Network, which will be up tomorrow morning. Um, I took yesterday off. I did some prep work for both Battle Network and this. I also got an audition sort of done that I ended up finishing today during work. Uh, I kind of kept, like, ducking out every few minutes to, to work on it a little bit. I never realized how realistic the background in this game looks. Like... Like, that's clearly just an image, but that's real, that's real, that's real world footage in the back. I had I did not notice that at all. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I kind of spent yesterday prepping and relaxing, and uh, I'm here tonight. I was originally going to start this much earlier and do like a five-hour stream and get this and Battle Network definitely done tonight, but... Uh, I don't think I'm good to put myself onto that level of stress right now. So I'll just be finishing this for sure, and then whatever time is left, I'll put into Battle Network. I think I have more than three hours of Battle Network left anyway, given what I still have to do in it. Um, so yeah, I'm here. I'm doing this. Uh, did you know? No, I didn't. So, before I go forward, I'm just gonna go over briefly what I did do offline. Because it's, it's, it's kind of a bit... First off, I got rid of all the uh, exclamation points, so we're good there. Uh, secondly, I have raised the level of research to the maximum, and well, not max, but the max that matters. So three, two, two, three, three on all the primary areas, essentially, all the daytime areas, uh, with one exception. I haven't done it on the Ruins of Remembrance yet, but also there are Pokemon there I haven't found yet in level two, so we'll we'll get there, and we'll still also get new Pokemon on the way. Um, it turns out there are a few spots that I didn't find, uh, routes to yet, like, here in the reef. Um, it turns out that there was an up and down path there, too. I don't know how I got the path straight forward, but it's not there anymore. But now I have the circle path here. It turns out there are still a few paths I am actually missing. Uh, Fireflow Volcano for the Illuminous spot, there's a whole second route that mostly goes to the first area, rather than the second one. And then, um, on, believe it or not, the very first level, at the nighttime version, there's one more path that kind of, oops, there's one more path that kind of veers upward here, and I think it has to do with the Heracross that shows up right here. Uh, I don't know how to activate it. I will do that tonight as well. So I'll get the last two paths I need. Apparently getting a star on this, on the, on the maps, requires you to not only max out the research level everywhere, get every path... But it also requires you to find every single Pokemon and item of an ob like item of interest in an area. Like how I have no Crystal Blooms registered for this one, I would need to register every single Crystal Bloom. I would need to find every single Wingo location, like not just here and here, but like over here, over here. If there's one out there, then over there. You have to do so much work to get 100% in this game, and I am not bothering. Uh, so we'll absolutely be doing that, and we'll absolutely be doing that. Uh, also, objects of interest. Uh, this is finished. It turns out there were two that I was missing here. Uh, you actually did have to go back to the to the Durice Island spot and re-photograph that. The photos you take during the cutscene don't count. That's cool. Glad that the game lets you know that. And also, I missed one uh, in the uh, Milotic Illumina spot. There was one underwater that you could just kind of take a photo of. And yeah, you don't get any extra dialogue. You just get a star, uh, uh, not rather a crown icon. So yeah, it's, it's a little difficult to get them all. For Pokemon specifically, you have to not only get all the Pokemon, but you have to get all the photos registered. And since there's 214 with four each, that's 856 photos. And I only have 504. So I'm only missing 13 Pokemon. So even if I got all four of all of those, that wouldn't even get me to 600. 
So yeah, it's it's a lot of work. That said, I did get a lot of new photos after I went offline on Monday. Um, pretty much everything... Yeah, everything from Wingle. So like three pages worth of new photos. But yeah, today we'll get the last uh, 13 Pokemon. And we'll get the uh, last level up and the last two routes. And we'll be good. And then I could finally put this game behind me. And if I ever decide to go back to it, cool. It won't be streamed. Oh my god, I have seven emails. I went on a DLC binge for that Taiko no Tatsujin game that I have not played yet. <laughs> Which sounds stupid, but it's also like, I know I'm going to eventually play these songs because they're all songs that I like. Uh, I specifically bought songs from, like, anime uh, packs that I knew, and I was just like, cool, why not? There's so much DLC for that game. It's a good thing I got the game for 10 bucks because if it was a full 60 and then I bought all that DLC, I'd be like, Jesus Christ, this is too expensive. I've still spent less than the base game uh, in terms of the DLC and the discount, so I'm good. I, I don't mind throwing a few bucks away on, on a game that I might only play for a little bit. I do really want to get the, the drum controller for it, but apparently you need a mod to get it to actually work, like, really well. So, uh... That's, that's stuff I'm going to have to do in the future. I'm trying to open my Arnold Palmer, and it's just, like, the cap is just, or the, the tab is just not, not coming out for me. Uh, okay, so, oh yeah, yeah, like I said, I cleared out all the, uh, all the dots. I think in terms of the rankings, I am now second for course score among my friends. Only two million to go, and I'll definitely be getting that much uh, tonight. I'll be uh, overtaking Charlie and being becoming the number one course scorer. Photo decks, I think I'm still like fifth or fourth, though. I'm sixth. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite a ways away from maxing that out, and I'm probably not going to if I just go straight for the last few Pokemon. So, to start things off, uh, let's try to get rank three on that one area. On Oris, the final area. Mm -mm. This game is really nice in handheld mode. I didn't play a lot of it in handheld mode because I streamed most of it. Oh my god, this drink is going to either break my thumbnail off, or I'm not going to be able to open it. So I already know of two Pokemon in this level that I have not gotten yet, that I purposely skipped when I revisited it. Even though it's kind of silly. So there's Eldegoss. There's the first one, right in the back there. There it is. It's our wish granter. There's a lot more crystal blooms in this game than I thought. <laughs> awesome. Noivern, I still don't know how to, uh... Oh, nice, that's new. Good shit. Uh, wait a minute. He's going in there. He's driving away the Salandit. Interesting. I didn't get the Noigvern to do that before. Okay, there's the, uh, Sigliglyph, Sigl, Sigilith? Sigilith. Sibilance. Testing. One, two, three. There's Chandelure. That's a new one. Oh, 
already gotten that photo before. I don't know how to get the, uh... Those are obviously Swoobat markings. I don't know how to get them to show up there. That might just be... You know what? That might just be level 3. That's why. There's BM. Go Lurk. I took the alternate route out last time I came by here, and it really doesn't do much, as far as I could tell. I don't know what this Golurk is doing, but I don't think it counts for a special photo. There's Jirachi, he's sleeping. It's sleeping. Good stuff! There's a huge fly on my- on my screen right now. hurting bugs, but this thing's interrupting me now. Absol? That's new! don't have too much fun. I have to impose a photo limit. That's why I don't like the fact that Burst uses multiple shots. I would be like, oh, cool. You get 72 shots with Burst mode, so now you just get more stuff to, to sift through. It's like, nope. Gotta choose. Okay, I think I have something that can pull this tab up here. Uh, yeah! I had a little, like, clip that I used for my old pantyhose pop filter, which, thankfully, I don't use anymore. I have a proper one. Though my... This one... It doesn't really stop a lot of popping. Uh, I gotta get a more professional one. And thankfully, I saw one that's pretty cheap for, m for me. So I might get it at some point. But the thing is, it's not meant to be uh, connected to a mic. It's kind of like a dangling, clipped-on one. Like a pr real professional one. Problem is, I don't have space for, for a mic like that. <laughs> yes, I did photograph a new Pokemon. Got three of them, in fact. And a new shot for Noivern. Nice, good. Tight. Nice. Tight. Nice. Tight. Wow, Billy, that's the photo of Jirachi we're going with? Alright, whatever. That's probably four stars, though. Three stars. A new discovery. That's three stars? It eating? I thought eating was two star behavior. enough to level up, though. Oh. Way better current score, though. 
That's great. That's another three Pokemon. So we're down to ten. All right. Next, let's do the volcano. I want to do the uh, the, the left route, so we get that done. Nice job, Kermit. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, there's two Volcaronas. If you just look at the left one, or focus on the left one... Oh, yeah, I don't need it to be... Yeah, if I just... Get a shot when the powder starts glowing. I don't think I need to, uh... Remove the fire anymore. Yeah, that's the nice thing, though. I do like that once you've done the basic uh, run-through of the stage, you don't need to get the Illumina Phenomenon for it to count. That said, I do feel like the camera's default is a little too zoomed in at times. Inferno. Buddy. I'm absolutely not throwing that thing far enough. too hard to aim. I think you have to light the top one for it to, uh, give you the four-star photo opportunity for them. Again, I'm not after the stars, so I don't really care. But, uh, maybe. Archie Ops over there. I 
think maybe you have to light all of them in, con in, ex in succession. I almost said in concession. Because my brain can words, right? A little, a little too difficult. Like, you can't keep up very well when you're chasing after one. So we're getting a new Switch model. That's pretty neat. 50 bucks more than the base model, and you get a slightly bigger screen that looks nicer and bet and slightly better speakers and no more power for the game. So everything lags just as much as it always has. That's cool, I guess. I, I'm i of the opinion that it's, it's due to part shortage, that this is kind of like a thing that they were supposed to work on more, but because of part shortages now, they have to release it just as a basic... Switch, and that they'll come back to it, like, in another year or so, as, like, an upgraded one. But who knows? Nintendo does what they do. I'm not getting one. The dock looks cool, but why is the bottom of it, like, why is the bottom of the inside curved when the Switch has a, like, rectangular bottom to it? The Illumina courses I can't get high scores on, but I've seen people get like three million on some of these. When I can't even bust a million on, on, on the easier ones. Lots of photos with high scores. I mean, to be fair, it's not hard to get a high score in this game. In terms of, like, actual photos. They seem to grade pretty generously. Size, like, you don't have to be too big to get max points on that. There we go. Two whole roots. One much shorter than the other one. So that just leaves Florio's, Florio Park Knight's alternate route. Which goes, like, right past the dam route. I, I don't know how to do that, though. I gotta look that up. And also, it's not gonna get me any new Pokemon. So that's just kinda be, gonna be done to be done. how to get there though why is this like the one thing they don't have the 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 guide for um All alternate. Alt. Alt. Why can't I talk? What stops me from talking properly?
When my branching path was causing Pinsir to surface. We question Heracross to follow the tree and both Pokemon will move on to the other to another area. As you near the damn wall, you'll spot Heracross. Okay. Oh, alright. So again, it, it come it all comes back to the pincer Heracross thing. I think I've gotten all I can out of this course. I've already maxed it out. This. Though it doesn't hurt to uh, get some good photos. Get up! Get up! Ha no! No, 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 no! Come on! How do- aren't- isn't that supposed to wake Heracross up? Like, what the fuck, man? It's like I do it right, and it's- everything requires too many steps in this game. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Asshole. You're supposed to fucking wake up Heracross, you bitch. Why don't you do that?
Asshole. Hey, 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 hey. Horns. Look at this uh, damn wall. Wait, what? Well, you can pincer from the hole by in the ground by playing a melody. Oh, maybe scanning it ruined it. Scanning it ahead of time was not the way to wake him up. Look at this nothing. <laughs> Just empty calories here. All right. nice work. But I'm doing this for a course score, so whatever. Why, why do you have to bring this up? I'm not I'm not getting anything out of this. It's a decent uh, course score though. Excellent. Yeah, I'll take three million. No bet, no big. Total course score forty million or more. Nice high scorer. The phrase scorer sounds weird. It makes me think of um, people who say you're a good drawer instead of a good artist. Wake up. What the actual F, man? Why is this, like, the first... It's funny, because this is, like, one of the first in forced interaction, like... I remember when I first started playing, I was like, Oh, I, cool, I can, I can do something with this dirt mound. It's, like, the first interactable spot in the game, and it's, like, the worst one. Because it won't do what you need it to. Maybe I have to scan it and then wake it up. <sighs> Bitch. This is this is the uh it's the sand slash all over again, except even worse because this is all for nothing. <laughs> this is for a, a couple more dots on my map. That's it. Admittedly, the last set of dots I need, but hey, shell shock, how you doing? Nice, cool. Glad to hear it. All right, scan. Oh my 
God, really with this shit. Okay, let's. I guess let's try scan then then ball. Uh, I'm all right. Had a rough day, but it's it's uh, all good. Is that shaman? What the hell? Why is it just here? That's cool. Gonna wake up Heracross, right? No? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I literally cannot tell. <laughs> Again, this is what I mean when this game when I say this game does not give you enough information. That wasn't even... Wow. Alright, I already have one and two star shamans. Cool. That wasn't even worth it at all. Yes. Not even bother. Yeah, I feel like... The, the, first off, yeah, there's way too many requests. Um, and the fact that you can't retroactively complete them is annoying. But what really annoys me is just how many interactions in this game you need to use a guide for. There's so many instances in this game where I would never guess what I have to do. Like this pin like this pincer thing. I'm looking at a guide and I still can't get it right. In fact, I'm gonna be going to Cerebi for it instead. Because I... Uh, hopefully it's better. Nature Park Night. Okay. No, what? Swan? No. Pincer. Well, how do I get Heracross? To get it to appear, you need to use an Illumina Orb on the first Crystal Blooms, and then use Scan. This will cause Heracross to fall out of the tree. Really? That that doesn't that doesn't That's weird. Where? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is actually terrible. See, now I'm, now I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated at how much I'm having to restart here because none of the information I'm given is right. This isn't even for a new Pokemon, which is the most frustrating part of it all. Crystal Bloom's on the first... Chris... Illumina Orb on the first Crystal Blooms, then you scan. Is there a Crystal Bloom that I'm missing?
there it is. Jesus. Asshole. There it goes. So I guess there's no way to go over the path over there anymore unless I lower the research level. It seems like this is permanently the path that this area takes. I believe they're fighting. Wow. That's brutal. Yep, we're going around it now. There's a way to stop this, too. I think if you wake up Sylveon, it stops them. Pretty cool, though. What is up there? Oh, the Dodrio. I saw that last time, and I'm like, what the hell is that thing? Sounds very nice. Alright, so that's every path in the game unlocked now. That means the ruins are the only area that has anything that I haven't gotten for it yet. In this case, just being level 3 of research. Everything else is at the fully unlocked area. Excellent. Nice. Ooh. Hey, King Louie, how you doing? I'm alright. Don't call me Mr. McCaw, please. That sounds so weird. And it's also funny because there was a character in Tuca and Birdie this past week named Mr. McCaw. <laughs> mm -mm. Very disappointed, he sounds. I'm alright. Just unwinding a bit. Trying to get the, this game, I'm trying to get done tonight. <laughs> okay, so. Don't call me that either, please, God. That just, that just sounds weird. Okay, available Pokemon. Lentil Region Pokedex. Here we go. You don't get a whole lot for uh, discovering everything. See, how did I never have the ducklet out there registered?
Yeah, mic works. I'm not gonna be one of those people who's like, no, it's, it's you have to say Michael. I don't like Mike. It's like, oh, come on, don't be like that. I'm a big proponent of saving syllables, and having a one-syllable name is fine with me. Okay, I gotta- oh, fuck, no. I- I needed to be on that screen to see what Pokemon I had. Shit, that's why I went in there in the first place. Okay, so I'm missing, what, 10 at this point? Yep, yeah, 204, so there's 10 left. Number. Okay, so Audino. So it's what? What is it? It's six, twelve, eighteen per page. So Audino would be. Oh, never mind. That doesn't work. Oh, I'm on page two. I'm like, what? Oh. Okay, so Taylo, number eighteen, perfect. Thirty-six would be Audino. Yes. Forty. Uh, 54 would be Wooper. Mm hmm. Another 16. Another 18, rather, would be 72. Which shouldn't be Applin, but I'm also saving the one Pokemon I'm missing from this page. To I love how Sobble is just a, a fucking cloud. Um, I am purposely saving the last Pokemon on this page for the end because. It's a very neat callback to the uh, to the first game, uh, but I do know how to get it now, so we're good. Uh, so, eighteen up from Beware would be ninety-one, which should be Octillery. It is, but that was only seventeen. Sl uh, that was. Hmm. Oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah, that works. Okay, so eighteen up from Octillery would be 109, which would be Alomo, Almolo, Mola, which, okay, so I'm missing one. So wait, what am I missing here? Love Disc, Vaporeon, Marini, Whalelord, Pilipper, Mantine, Lapras, Blastoise, Squirtle, Sharpedo, Sandygast, Raichu, Primarina, Clamperol, Finneon, Corsola. Wait, what? Octillery? Hold on, something's not right here. There's something I'm missing. Oh! Yeah, I should have figured. Okay, Reef Evening. Yeah, you, you got it. You got it! I mean, that pretty much means that's the only Pokemon left to get in this area, so I don't really have to pay attention to anything else. <laughs> Reef Evening, two stars. No, re level two. Okay, this is apparently very annoying. Need to lure the Inke over to the first Crystal Blooms and have them jump. Then hit this. If you then hit the second Crystal Blooms, Whale Lord will go underwater. Man okay. Yeah. At this point, I think I'm just missing the mythical legendaries, mostly. I have found a few of them because I do have Shaman and uh, Jirachi already, and Lugia, Haka Lugia. Okay. Here. 
Okay, wait, so I did that. If you then hit the second Crystal Bloom's Well Lord, we'll go underwater. Yeah, doing anything with Lugia was a pain in the ass. Like, I didn't bother. I did the one star one, that was it. I was like, oh god, you have to you have to do all this other stuff once you get in there. Problem with the game is that it moves too quickly in my for, for me. It it requires a lot of work to to uh to get things like moving and you don't have a whole lot of time to do it. There it is. Perfect. We got it. There it is. And then there's another appearance at the end. I don't know if I need to do that to... See, that's the thing, though. I don't know if I need to do that to make the second appearance happen. But again, that's so intricate. Like, I mean, yeah, you just have to hit the two crystal blooms, but you need the Inkay to be near there. And then you also wouldn't think that hitting the two crystal blooms would make the Wailord dive later. Like, I get it's kind of puzzly, but the game doesn't do the best job of conveying how to do some of the stuff. Like, I guess it's just, you know, if you see a crystal bloom, light it up. I also feel like this path is very easy to miss. I'm also not a huge fan of having to, uh... I'm, a I'm also not a huge fan of the throw mechanics, just because the apple is supposed to be super light, yet it goes way lower than, uh, than the, than the, the Illuminorbs. And also, I feel like the Illuminorbs are way easier to aim, just because they go so much further and they're lighter. But again, I mean, overall minor gripes. This game is really nice. Once the two lappers meet, play music to get them to sing and have Manafi come out. Oh, all right. I'll remember that for later. I'm not going to bother now. <laughs> this is just a discovery stream. I, I've been playing this game since it came out, on and off. So I'm just like, I want to finish the. I want to finish getting all the Pokemon today and just be done with it. I've already taken number one in terms of course scores among my friends, and my Pokedex score is close to top three at this point. And I know I'm never going to play some like the leaderboards, so I'm not going to... Wow, really? They, again, they chose the ones where it's not even looking at me. Still a platinum, though. So, you know. We registered every species of Pokemon on the are on and around the Maricopia Islands to your photo decks. Yes. Give me that sticker. Can I smooth out the uh, other one of my name? I don't like how the edge is furled up. You went from a beautiful beach to the depths of the ocean. What an adventure!
think auto prioritize newest and highest star. Yeah. Auto prioritize is always highest star rank you don't have registered first, and then highest score, I think. Not always the highest score. I don't know. And then if you have all the stars that you have photos of, it'll prioritize what it thinks is the highest scoring one. But I'm not exactly sure how that works. Alright, that's two stickers. I like how the more you find, the more the thing gets filled in. Like, three gets you the information and the gender differences. One just shows you the type, basic typing. Two to- I, I guess once you- yeah, once you hit two. And then four. Alright. Next page, from Alola Mola Mola Mola. So 18 would be... Uh, 127, which would be... Flygon. Okay, so I got everything on this page. Uh, 18 up from that would be 145. That would be Graveler. So I got everything on this page. 18 up from that would be 153. No, sorry. 163. Which in this case would be Skarmory. So I'm missing 3 on this page. So let's see. Let's go through them all. One by one. Archaeops, got it. Slugma, got it. Torkoal, got it. Charmander, got it. Charizard, do not have that one. Flareon, I do not have. Ho-Oh, I do not have. I think I have all the ice Pokemon on this page that I'm supposed to have. Beartic, Mightyena, Weavile, Braviary, Sweenub, Memoswine. Sorry, Swinub. Skarmory, Sandslash. Bomba Snow, Vulpix. Okay, so I have everything up to the end of this page aside from the fire types. Alright. We got four. We got three. Volcano. Flareon is also Volcano. Ho Oh is also Volcano. Alright. That makes this a little easier. We might be able to get all three on one go. Clarion can be found in the Blue Magma uh, BLU. Interesting. Okay. Sounds like we could get the last the last three in this stage pretty easily. And that'll bring us down to six. Definitely want the path by the blue lava. Be easier to find for good flurry on picks. Yeah. Volcano! What's the default path on three? Is it blue or red? Red? Okay, so I have to switch then.
Ooh, better type float. I haven't done rank three of this yet. Oh, wait, look right and behind slightly at the start, okay. Oh, there it is. No, that's Archeops. Through here? Yep, there it is. I feel like there's a, a, a level of sensory overload in this game. They throw so many Pokemon at you at level 3 that it's like kind of like, oh god, where do I look at any given point? It's a little, it's a little, uh, a little rough for people who aren't the quickest. Hard to do that and the Charizard spawn. Okay. No biggie. Again, I'm only going after registering. I don't care about getting all the, uh... I don't care about getting all the Pokemon, or all the, all the shots, at least not right now. If I decide in the future I want to go back to it, I'll probably do that. That'll probably be my next goal. Yeah. How do you knock down Graveler, exactly? Fruit? Okay. One quality of life improvement I'd like to see in this game would be to, uh, oh, wow. One quality of life improvement I'd like to see is have the photo, like, like how it has the orange, um, exclamation point if it's a new Pokemon. Have the right side show how many stars it's worth. Like, say, one star, four star. That way, at least I know if I'm not getting a repeat photo or something. Ah, yes, Typhlosion, how it should actually look. Three D really did, uh, really did Typhlosion dirty. If I take the left path, I don't need to summon the char. Well, I guess I could just do the right path again. Ooh, high planes pattern.
Do I have to do the... Oh, okay. Oh, then knock down. Okay, yeah. So I have to orb the Pokemon first. Is that stupid fly on my leg? No, it's not. Okay. The thing is big and I don't like it. Let's do this. All things considered, that's not a bad picture of ho -Oh. That reminds me very much of the first episode of the anime. Except he's flying off in a different direction. Well, I need to get just, like, a one-star photo of Luxray next time I go in there. Hey, I did it. Good. Good job. I don't know what just caused that to happen, but cool. That was some good shit. Good shit, Twitch. I don't know. I don't actually know if that was Twitch or if it was my internet. We're back after a very, very brief outage, like less than a minute. Uh, hopefully that wasn't the internet. It says I have excellent stream quality, so... Let's, uh, let's pray for the best there. So you guys missed nothing. I was just speeding through my uh, my photos. Apparently, Luxray can see through things, because its name is X-Ray, and I never realized that. That's ridiculous. How did I never know that?
Uh, I did it. Why didn't it work? Very happy about that. Nice. I was gonna say, Ho is my favorite legendary bird, and then I'm like, what the fuck am I saying? My first Sona's literally was, a, was originally a Zapdos. <laughs> cool. I don't think that had anything to do with it. Oh, there's Slugma down there. Still just been lurking. Uh, you didn't miss much. My stream disconnected. This is actually a second stream now. <laughs> I didn't disconnect. I didn't. End the stream. I, I kept the OBS going. My stream just dropped. For some reason. Thankfully, it came back after two retries. Alright, I'm just gonna go down the red path and get Charizard there. I honestly haven't been down the red path since I unlocked... Because you can't go down the red path at all in rank 2. Hard shows up there and he interacts with Typhlosion. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe if I take a photo of Ho-Oh in general. Well, either way, I got an amazing photo. That was worth going back for. I'm very happy to have experienced that. This game would be great in Labo VR. It would obviously be ass quality, but... Considering this game's in first person, this would be amazing to play in, in VR. Mm -hmm. That ho, ho looks like the box art for gold. Yeah, and then the one star photo I took looks like it's um looks like the first episode of the anime where you just see it out in the distance. Flying over Ash's head. That's still wild to me that the anime like, started by showing a Gen 2 Pokemon at the end of the first episode. Like, I didn't realize that it was that far. Gen 2 was that far into development when the anime started airing. Because, I mean, then the second Gen 2 Pokemon that shows up is P Togepi. And that's not until, like, 30-something episodes in. And also still well before Gen 2 actually came out. Luxray is uh, one of my friend's favorite Pokemon. All right, I'm here just for the Charizard, so let's uh, let's get going here. Awesome. I do appreciate uh, that the events that haven't started do speed up to match when you get there. So you never really miss anything. You can only speed past stuff. Monkey. Monkey. Monkey fella.
<laughs> Loser. True, yeah, yeah. Hello was planned to be in red, blue, and uh, green. A lot of Gen 2 were planned for red and green. It, the problem is just that it didn't... There's Charizard. There we go. I mean, still, that the anime showed it. Obviously, I mean, obviously Gen 2 was in development by that point, but... I mean, it was still wild to me, because, like, at the time, you know, the anime started airing in America before the games even came out. So the fact that the sequel games were already getting appearances in the sh in the show was was pretty cool. That is a four star right there. Stars flamed door. Uh. caught me in the middle of something important. Wow, Charizard's the only new thing I got, too. That's upsetting, but also, like, yeah, whatever. I was there for Charizard. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Really? They choose the picture where his head's cut off? That's cool. Nice nope, that was four stars. There we go. And it was silver, too. Nice. You have all the Pokemon working on getting the different stars. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm stopping. I'm just stopping at all the Pokemon. I don't have the patience for all the stars right now. And I certainly don't have the patience to get all the requests. Because multiple behaviors fall into the same star category. I found out, so... Registered every species of Pokemon on Voluka Island to your photo decks. Nice. Excellent. The desert sun and volcanic heat must have made for some sweaty surveying. Yeah. Why don't you build, like, a cooling system into the, Zer the Neo-1, Professor? How dare you? You left me to burn. Alright, so, we're up to... I skipped an island? Yeah, I didn't do the, um... I didn't do the, f the jungle yet. I'm saving that one for last, because it makes the most sense. So we're down to f six Pokemon left. I hate, I hate these so much. I hate the, the exclamation points. Why does it have to be a thing? This is amazing. God damn it. I forgot, you, you can't just set it and forget it. You gotta think everything through in this game. Alright, that's another 
quality of life improvement. Let me just upload a photo and choose which one to overwrite. So Skarmori is here. So that means, uh, where, what does that mean? Skarmory. So an 18 up from Skarmory would be 181, which would be one that I actually don't have. Um, but that's actually one ahead of... Okay, so I'm missing two after Aurora's right now. And I'm also missing one before Aurora's, I think. Wait. Am I? Hold on. Oh, if you do enough prep, you can recreate the same pose Mew does in OG Snap. Yeah. Ah, shit. Wait, okay, so Sandslash, Obama Snow, Vulpix, Delibird, Snom, Frostmouth. I just saw that fucking fly. It's on my window. Get off. Go away. Fly somewhere else. Crabomitable. Starrunt, Glalie, Frostlash, Jinx, Sfeel, Piplup, Vanillux, Avalug, Dugong, Aurorus. Oh no, okay, Aurorus should be the last one on this page, but I'm, I'm, I keep forgetting, yeah. So it's just the last two, so I'm missing two more from this area. I'm assuming Glaceon's just Snowfield's rank 3, since all the Eons seem to be uh, rank 3. What about the uh, Legendary, though? Only at night, okay. Where is the boy? Oh, interesting. I think I tried to do that. Double alt path, yeah. Snow path area. Okay, so it seems like, um... It seems like I'll get both if I just follow that route. You have no idea how you got to appear. I think it has to do... And I've, I, I looked at this last time I streamed it, too. It has to do with something on the coast, I believe. I've done this level a bunch. Well, I haven't done rank 3 yet, so this is all gonna be new, kinda. Piplup at the beginning. All oh, right, he's it's it's night time. I love Deli Bird. I have a newfound appreciation for Deli Bird. What the? So something didn't look right there, right? Yeah, what what shadow was that?
I thought Glaceon was supposed to be here. Stomp, 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 stomp. It's up on the ledge. Oh, okay. Whoa, that was cool. That was really neat. See, like, that puzzle's, that puzzle's nice. It's easy to figure that one out. Just lead the Jinx over there, then light the crystal up, and they both, they both do the thing. Okay, now, over here, this is how we get Suakune to show up. I woke it up first. Uh, okay. Why is this not working? There it is. I like how it doesn't even walk fast on the water. It just walks on water. So you kind of clipped into the ceiling there, it like got stuck. It like jagged itself out. I know it's an interaction, it might even be a request, but it never works for you. Oh, the Jinx? Well, what I did was I threw the apple at its head, woke it up, and then just started throwing apples next to it. And that somehow worked. Yeah, really good. Smooth moves, keep it up. How is it that I still don't have two star for Snom? Ooh, excuse me. I like that just that, just for the sheer absurdity of it. Oh, I'm not playing Aurorus. Well, I'll get that next time I go through it, I guess. Really? Again, it chooses the ones where it's not even fully in the frame. I hate that. Alright, going for one more round of that to get Glaceon, the recent anime. I have not watched the anime in forever. 
All I know is that Darkrai showed up, and they comment on how many times they've met it, and Go is just like, How many times have you met Darkrai in person? That thing's supposed to be legendary, no one's supposed to see it. Oh, go caught Sukune, really? That's cool. They kind of- they have been doing that in a lot of the recent, um, animes. Like, they've been- they've been having characters get and keep legendaries. Keep up high this time. There's Glaceon, I see it. Ash has a stacked team. I mean, he should at this point. He really has no excuse not to. Dragonite, Lucario, Gengar, Surfetch, and Dracovish. Wow, he has a lot of a lot of older Pokemon, considering that this is supposed to be the Gen 7 anime. I find it really funny that they just they like were like, we we can't make Galar work as an anime. We have to we have to make it like a multiple region thing. Maybe this is their way of finally uh, giving Ash some closure. Like, they made him win a league, so maybe now they'll give him some closure by having this be, like, the, like, his big world tour season, and then come Gen 8, they might, like, completely rethink how the show works and maybe finally write him off. See? Wake it up, and then just toss. Start tossing. And there you go. That's enough. Sword and Shield is Gen 8, right. I said 7 by accident. But I don't know. Again, I haven't watched the anime in years. From what I've been... From what I've seen... It definitely almost seems more like they kind of wanted the the Alolan anime to be like a new start for the series, but I guess some executive was like, "Nope, we got to keep Ash as the main character," so they just redesigned him along with the art style. Go needs to be the new protag. I see again. I I have not seen any of the new anime. I've heard Go is pretty cool. Apparently, you're so cool, Sukun. Oh, you didn't show up there this, that time. Okay. He wants to complete the decks, including Mew. Yeah, that's the thing. Ash never was really into the whole, like, finishing his Pokedex thing. He was always about the battling. Because, you know, it, 
In the anime, that alone seems like enough concept to get a few generations of anime, yeah. I mean, the thing is... The interesting thing is, like... The way that the anime portrays it, it's definitely way different to go after both goals in it. It seems a lot less feasible. Especially the concept of becoming, like, champion in that. It's a bit oh, there's two-star Snom. Wow, finally. A new discovery. Great timing. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Ash, typical first playthrough, yeah. Lovely. Professor, doesn't your arm get tired like that? Also, your thumb is really awkwardly placed for how your hand is on your, uh, side. Go, the run where you catch everything, yeah. What, th what thorough work you've done. Thank you. This goes way beyond my expectations. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Did I miss something here? Because... I feel like, uh... Oh, you know what? Maybe I was only looking at the ice part. I wasn't looking at the actual, uh... Cave part. Yeah, Crobat's still on the same island. I don't know what I was doing. The Gen 4 rival was when you played competitively. Same. Big mood. Get some Glaceons at the end of that page now. So let's see, 18 up from Glaceon would be uh, 199, which is Deontzi, which means I'm missing one Pokemon. Oh yeah, speaking of Gen 4, Dawn is coming. Oh yeah, right. I think that's where the, the Dark Ride thing is coming from. I feel bad that I fell off the anime. I loved I loved uh, the anime up to... I watched up to Orange Islands and I just stopped because I had too much else going on. The show wouldn't end. And I was just like, ah, uh, I can't keep up with it anymore. Okay, so we got... Crobat, Joltik, Geodude, Carbink, Gengar, Noibat, Pumpkaboo, Krogunk, Drifloon... Clefairy, Sableye, Ramparados, Hydreigon, Gudra, Mawile. Oh, of course. It's another Eon. Jolt Eon, to be exact. Oh, yep, that's it. Jolteon's the last one I need for this one. And then how many am I missing after that? Three? And I know where one of them is, so the last two have to be on the last island. The stream's about just around half over. I'm definitely gonna need a bathroom break between this and the next segment, though. I think Dark Ride Cristela is part of a two-episode arc with Dawn. That's cool. I do like the whole, like, revisiting stuff with this new series, where they're kind of going back and doing everything over, or just re re revisiting people. Okay, how do I find Jolteon? Uh... Supersized Pumpkaboo? No, thank you. Oh, wait, I know where Jolteon is. I passed by it before. Requires you to awake de awaken Deontzi in the hidden path, then take the new hidden path to the back of the ca hidden cave. You can lure Joltik over to the Jolteon and hit it latch on, causing Jolteon to utilize electricity to shake it off, creating its four-star photo. It's jumping out is its three-star photo. 
Uh, how do I get Deontay again? Shit. So why does it say Jolteon level 2, but Deontay level 3? That makes no sense. We already saw Iris as the champion. Ash did revisit Alola. Yeah. Have they actually gone to Galar yet, or no? Has Galar just not had its, had its appearance in the anime yet? Oh, all right. Alternate path is just, uh... Oh, they have. Okay. I mean, to, to be honest, though... Uh, to, all right, to be completely fair, Galar does have a lot of neat spots in it that they could easily expand in the anime. But, uh... It's just that the games don't utilize them well. Balanle is, like, such a cool town. I love I love the fairy-type areas. Balanle, uh... Whatever it's called. Laver City... They covered the entire main plot in four episodes. You know what, to be fair though, that's pretty much how much plot is in Sword and Shield. <laughs> Not counting the DLC. I would say the DLC alone could be four episodes each. We're really not after, uh... In fact, I've done this- I did this level so many times last time I was here, it really isn't worth... Go ahead as Rabbit evolve into Cinderace during that time. Cool. I sort of kind of know um, the voice actor, uh, the voice actor who voices um, Cinderace, Rabbit, and and uh, Score Bunny in the English dub. Actually, I don't know if they voice Cinderace. I know they're Rabbit and um, and Score Bunny. I imagine they. I'd imagine. I, maybe that's. Maybe it's because it's not dubbed yet. I don't know how far along the dub is. Again, why am I wasting time here? I've already done like this like a bunch of times already. <laughs> Ash called a Galar Farfetch in an earlier episode. Yeah, and he has Surfetch now. Beep. Beep. Still know how to get this thing to fall. Oh, never mind. You just knock it with that. I don't know what that did exactly, though. Hey, average size pumpkaboo. My favorite Star Trek actor, John DeAnci. Oh, really? yeah. Mawile seems less wary of you now. Perhaps it will let you through. Cute. Okay, now. Jolteon. Uh, take the new hidden path to the back of the hidden cave. You can lure Joltik over to Jolteon. It will latch on. Okay.
it's not time. Go over there. Go over there. Wake it up. Wake it up. Wake it up. What are you doing? Dude, what the fuck? Come on. What a waste of fucking time that was. That's that's cool. I'm glad that it fucking didn't do what it's supposed to do. Hey. Gotta be fucking me, dude. Why put it so close to the exit? That's pissing me off. It was I had the four star for it too, so why didn't it wake up? Nice work. Nice work. Mm, it's got me so nettled right now. I can just hold down ZR. Blue the dub just had go get catch to a coon and some major things between that and current subs is far fetched evolution, go getting Grookey, go sub evolving and Iris fight and James officially catching more Peko. Ah Got it. Wow, that wasn't even a high score run. Professor, you pissed me off. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think this would take the whole stream. I was kinda hoping I'd be done with this in like an hour and a half. Not in, Now it's an hour and 50 minutes in and I still have like four Pokemon I'm missing. Come on! So I have to make it do the super blast thing to get over there. That's, that's bullshit. It's so much, so much you gotta do for a Pokemon that you're not even guaranteed to catch afterwards or get on photo. Terrible. This game's great until you start getting into the intricacies, then it's not good anymore. The fact that this takes extra time, too, is annoying. Pokemon Master Journeys, which is the 24th season of Pokemon. So is it just going to be more of the same, though? It's going to be more of the, the Ash Go series.
Oh, you mean the dub is coming back then? Okay, never mind. I'm uh, not. <sighs> Whatever. Moon. Moon. Yeah, fuck you, Hydreigon. I have to say, my least favorite dragon type is probably, um... Yeah, the double of its next 12 episode batch. Got it. up with the Illumina energy. Okay. I need to look up a different guide on how to do this. Because I think something didn't go right. Jolteon Guide. New Pokemon Snap. Outway Cave. Okay. First will be... First Ultra... Okay, I didn't know that. How do you get it up, though? What? Just about any photo of common behavior. Okay, this sounds stupid. This sounds really dumb. Geo, dude. Why? Why isn't it coming up? What? What am I doing wrong? Ah! What? It's more left. What do you... What do you mean it's more left? It's a... On the freaking thing! Oh my god. Oh my god, why did they put this stupid Pokemon here? This is, fr this is legit frustrating now. That I'm not able to get this when I've done exactly what I need to do twice. It, it was dead on. It was on top of it. it. The sparks were there. Why does that matter? I am so aggravated at this. I shouldn't be. I, I should be done with this by now. Cool, I got four star d d Joltik. Nice 
I thought the whole point was that Joltik latches on. I'm so confused. I don't know. Like, okay, how do I wake up Jolteon then? How do I do that? Show the professor one photo of each of 50 species of Pokemon sleeping. Nice. I'm just so confused. I, I don't know what's going on here. I hate- this is like- this is, has to be my least favorite level, just from how many times I've had to go back to it. Just solely based on the fact that I've maxed out the rank here long before any other rank 3 level. See, that's the thing though, it shouldn't be that finicky. It, it should absolutely not be that finicky. I got the Joltik over to, on top of the uh, the Jolteon. There shouldn't be a, a disclaimer saying, yeah, but you have to aim slightly left or right for it to work. Can't you go jolting on the grass? It's under the ground! How do you make it come up? I thought that's how you get it to show up. That's the problem. Those things sticking out of the ground, that's Jolteon, right? Over there. Turn left. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, well then what's those things over in the ground over to the right? Now I'm annoyed. See, I thought that was Jolteon! That's very, very annoying. So, what is that? Some electrically charged Pokemon fur is stuck here. See, I thought that meant there was a Pokemon under the ground. That had to come up. So, ah. Uh. Alright, never mind. I don't know who to blame for that one, but... That ain't me. That ain't on me. <laughs> it's just a clue Jolties nearby. Uh. Cool, and it shows the worst photo yet again, just because that's the one of the three-star behavior. Whatever, I don't care. I don't care. We're done. We're done. Give me the stamp, please. Sticker. Whatever. A wet stick noise. That's every Pokemon on Dur Ice Island. Well done. You worked hard to capture these heart-pounding moments on that snowy, icy, remote island. Alright, two to get in the ruins, and then the last one in the jungle. Oh, that was frustrating. You know, it's not worth spending the time on that. 
All right, so we got Steelix, Houndoom, Eldegoss, Nottu, Absol, Salandit, Noivern. Okay, I, I know which one goes between these two. I already know, too, because I've said it out loud. It, it was, it's Wubat. Behem, Golurk, Chandelure, Umbreon, which is probably rank 3, Jirachi, and Xerneas. So I'm guessing Wubat is also rank 3, because I don't know how to get that thing to show up. Oh no, Wubat can be found through a simple element of throwing a fluff fruit into a well as you're about to enter the main part of the ruins. It will fly upwards with Illumina energy before fixing itself into a wall. From level 3 on, it just shows up. Throwing a fluff fruit into a well as you are bent to... Okay. Umbreon is in level 2 Illumina spot as well. Well, I gotta make one more trip through here. I don't know. Okay, so no, so there's one more legendary and two more regulars. And if I can't get Wubet on this trip, then I, I'll level up and I'll guarantee it on the second trip through, along with Umbreon. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this game has been equal parts like really nice and frustrating and also kind of boring at times. This really, this game really just runs the full gamut of emotions. All right, we're on rank two, so I don't need to bother myself with Hound Doom or anything really. I think both are. It shows them outside. Oh, maybe that's the one that I'm seeing. Maybe that's the one that shows up at rank 3. I'm kind of upset Salazzle's not in this game. Salandit's here. I know, I know which well they're talking about. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Is my aim really that shit? Oh wait, shit, I do need to level up. Though enough fruit in a carp eventually pops out. <laughs> of course it does. Wubat was one of my mains in, uh, black and white. I still have all my tournament ready. I'm uh, not even tournament ready, just battle ready Pokemon out in home. It, it really sucks that it can't, it's, like, using them is not, like, simple anymore. And some of them can't even be used. It makes you really, like, it just makes the whole point of transferring them out of games kind of stupid. And I feel bad that I keep doing it, because it's like, well, why even bother? And, like, how is this going to work with the new game? Well, I guess I know how it's going to work. gonna be the same as uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Where it's like, okay, well, there's a few Pokemon that are only in this version, but whatever. Ugh, those little gremlins. Nice. Hmm. 
Well, I didn't even notice that. I need two star not to. Yes. Munch, 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 munch. Yeah. Armbriana is way easier in the, the Illuminous spot. Whoa. That was cool. Oops, that's all your memory. Wrap it up and come on back. I guess the game kind of detects how close you are to the goal, because sometimes if you lose out all your photos in the middle of the route, it just immediately takes you back. I also noticed that you can't get forced back if you're on a route you haven't been on before. Yeah, that should be more than enough. That's it, too. I've, I've gotten everything to, to as high as they can go in terms of uh, new stuff. Research Ruins Level 3. Umbreon's easier in the Illumina spot. Is it only- is it in the room? Oh, the, the, oh yeah, wait, hold on, no. According to this, the only place it shows up is the ruins. Are you sure it's in the Illuminous spot? Get a picture of Umbreon asleep in the- oh yeah, I guess it is in the Illuminous spot. there next. Another quality of life... Well, no, I guess... So I guess it wouldn't work score-wise, but... I would say the ability to... The ability to... Submit multiple photos of the same Pokémon. Bad over there. Actually, that could still work. Core score takes account all photos, even ones you don't submit. Oh, well, there you go.
That's interesting. I thought it was just what you submitted. That would make it... That means there's no reason not to just blow all your photos on, on weak stuff, even if you can't keep it up towards the end. I don't like trying to, uh... Get Xerneas. He's, it's very annoying to hit it. See, the second it stops in a spot, it moves. There we go. Umbreon. No, it's all for as you take time. Unique Pokemon you took pictures of. Ah. Umbreon's further ahead still. Okay. Sleeping not to. I think I already got Natu's thing. Oh, there's Umbreon. Shit. Surprisingly easy. It's better than nothing. Oh, nice. That's... Uh, I didn't get the last one, though. That's way better. They really make you put the work in to get the uh, research level up to max. Excellent. Nice. Wet sticky noise. That's every Pokemon on Aurus Island. Well done. The very history of Lentil lies sleeping in those ruins. Registered photos of Eevee and all of its evolutions to your Pokedex. Tabloid filter. Nice. Alright, that just leaves one more.
Which I don't know how you would figure it out. I guess there's a, a quest that would pop up that lets you know. I probably have it already, too, because at this point I should have every quest possible. With the exception of one, because I couldn't get the photo for it. Not doing all 20 pavilion patterns. I don't know how many of them I actually have. Oh, so land it. Effect 6. I really don't like how there's requests that just don't give you anything. I feel like they could have just cut those out. Todd's camera. Todd Heart Eyes. That should be all of them. 27 plus 4 is 31. Yep. yep. Only missing one request and that needs, that needs the last one before. Yeah, I figured. And then I could ne never do them ever again. I like the aura thing, but I'm not removing the flying type icon. Yep, 213. One left. I think this might be a one-game night. I don't think Battle Network 6 is going to happen tonight, as much as I really want to. But then I think tomorrow I might just do a long stream and finish it. Uh, so last area we need to go to is the jungle at night. Yeah, I know once you get a photo of this during the night, it shows up uh, during the daytime as well. It's like the only Pokemon that activates like that. Good luck. There it is. Orb. The orb is here. Uh huh. Oh, I need to use fruit on it. All right. I guess the, the thing is, the, the subtle uh, thing is that you're supposed to use, you're supposed to see the, um, the more lulls there and be like, oh, okay, there's something hidden there. It's gonna pelt everyone with shit. We got it. I do wish there was, like, a secret area, like, in the first game, where Mew ends up being, like, the boss again. But I guess Xerneas is supposed to kind of be that in this game, with Mew just being kind of like a post-game extra. But 
it is really neat that they kept the uh, properties of Mew from the original Snap. At this point, I am not after anything here. If you keep it up and go for the four star, it's the same pose as the OG. Nice. Why was that not activated? I've definitely taken pictures of that before. Oh, you can't just go over there. You have to activate that every time. I had to orb the bloom by the ruins. Okay. Well, whatever. I met my goal. That's the most important thing. I could always get that later if I really want to keep playing. Come on. See, that's the thing, though. Like, how... It, again, how are you supposed to really know that? Like, you kind of have to go to the level trying to accomplish everything all at once. Platinum. Good stuff. Excellent. That's every Pokemon in Bellu Silva Island. Well done. It couldn't have been easy to find all those Pokemon, especially in a dense jungle in a foggy forest. Excellent. My heartfelt congratulations. Every entry in your photo decks has now been filled in. Feel free to keep taking photos and make your photo decks just how you want it. And above all, have fun. Genius photographer. Nice. Light filter. Collected every research sticker. We did it! We did it. Uh, after... When did this game come out? April or May? Oh god, it came out in April, didn't it? After one... T after three months, I finally got all the Pokemon. Hi. April 30th, yep. yep. May, June, July, so about th two and a half months, almost. I had a hiatus in the middle of that. Total photo deck score, almost two million. Again, ridiculous how in order to get a star, uh, crown on these, you need to completely fill out every map. That would take forever. It was the best selling game in April, despite releasing the last two days. Wow. No, last day. Wait, wh no, it wasn't the last day of April. I think it was a week before that. It might have been last day in Europe. In America, though, it was definitely the 23rd. All 
All right. There's a little bit of a closure here. I'm just going to get rid of all the uh, exclamation points and maybe do something nice. Because to be honest, I'm not going to go any farther than this. I think... Um, I think uh, I'm not going to bother with Battle Network tonight. There's I would only get about 30 minutes of it in. April 30th, had your copy preloaded. Okay, I gotta I gotta look this up now because this is this is absolutely boggling me. Oh yeah, it was April 30th. Oh shit. All right, never mind. I could have swore because that's the last day of the month, isn't it? All right, so maybe it was okay. Never mind. So it's only been two months, two months and a week. Hello. That's a hit. I'm hit. You don't see this every day. What, plants? That's all I see there. 214. Oh, yeah, and it's got the crown there. So photos registered would be four times that. So that'd be 856. I mean, I'm not too far. I'm 305, 307 away from that. So, yeah, if I really want to, I could go back, get that done. And then I'd have to get the... I'd have to fill in all the map, too, of all the areas. Max out my research in every area. It's just a lot of crap. I don't want to bother. <laughs> Considering how long... I've been playing this game for about 25 hours. I think that's about as much of it as I could handle. I mean, the original snap was what? Like 5 to 10? And I think the, the short length of that game kind of spoke to like how good it was. That people wanted a sequel for this long. Oh, wow, look! This is actually my highest scoring photo. I'm going to upload that. Absolutely, I'm going to upload that. Total photo deck score. Among my friends, I am rank... 5. Ooh. So I'm not even in the, I'm not even in the 2 million yet. I could, I mean, that's not too far up. I could probably get that up a little higher with some more photos without having to retake any. Course scores, I'm far, by far, number one. 42 million. Individual courses, I don't really care. Number one. Uh, number two, I'm the only person that bothered to go back to that. Number two in the ruins. Number one in the Illumina spot. I say add million, but I have six point million nine on Park Day alone. All right, Disgaea six came out. I really can't get back into Disgaea. Yeah, this this could get removed. is a really nice photo. Again, I don't really do the whole editing thing. All of them are getting hit. <laughs> oh, there are a few uh, exclamation points here I still haven't gotten rid of. I could just do that real quick, too. Again, I'm just kind of stalling for time here, since I've only been streaming two and a half hours. Filter. See, how come those go away immediately? Flush. That thing.
But yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a calm finale, but this is a calm game with also very, very low volume to it. You basically get a photo of Mew eating fluff fruit. Yep, all requests, 213. Nice, it actually just gives you completion for seeing all of them. Cool. That's that's a lot of requests that I'm never going to do. But hey, it's, hey, you know, if, the con if I ever get bored enough to go back, the content's there, and that's all that matters. At this point, I'm, I'm sure at this point, just uh, completing all the requests will get me a good majority of the photos I'm missing for uh, the ranks. But... I think, uh, I think we're finally, it's finally about time to say goodbye to new Pokemon Snap on stream. It's been a fun two months, uh, a little frustrating at times, definitely a little too, a little, a little too esoteric f for, I think, younger people to figure out, but I had fun. I had a lot of fun, and, um, I'm looking forward to, oh god, <laughs> I, I got my Streamlabs thing for earlier because the stream went down. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what comes next for Pokemon, which right now is going to be Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I'll probably play that on stream. I was actually going to stream Sword and Shield, and then because the first day it came out, stuff happened and I wasn't able to, I just never bothered. I never bothered. My life got extremely busy after that, and I just never went back to it. I just played it on my own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Brilliant Diamond, Diamond Shining Merle, BDSM. I'm going to get Brilliant Diamond. I'll probably stream it. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. RCUs. Legends RCUs I'll definitely stream because that's going to be like a single player affair anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got those coming up. Um, was there anything else Pokemon related I wanted to stream? I don't think so. Uh, in terms of what's coming up in the near future... Um, I guess I could do a little a little musing about that for a few minutes before I go. Unite comes this month. Yeah, but who gives a shit about Unite except uh except people who play um, MOBAs. What can I Oh no, anything I play is going to be loud as hell because because I have to turn up the switch volume or turn down the switch volume or whatever. I don't know. Let's do some Shovel Knight music. stuff. Could be a one-off. I can't stream- oh wait, no, it comes on Switch first. Yeah, that's weird. I forgot about that. It actually comes to Switch before mobile phones. I don't see myself playing it at all, honestly. You, you'd, more, you'd more likely catch me streaming Pokemon Home. Uh, so. Taiko no Tatsujin. Uh, downloaded this uh, a couple weeks ago during the sale. I've spent, I think, twice as much as I paid for the game on DLC for it. I think I paid 10 bucks for the game, and I paid 20 bucks for the DLC I've downloaded. And this game has, like, oh, like $200 worth of DLC. Um, I haven't played it yet. I want to. I don't know if I'd stream it, just because it's a lot of licensed music, which is why the DLC is so expensive. Um, that said, I do, I did have a charity incentive earlier during the, uh, during the March charity stream. Did I get the Pokemon themed DLC? Yes, I did. There's a Pokemon uh, Journeys DLC as well for the opening to that 1, 2, 3 or whatever it's called. Go 1, 2, 3. I didn't get that one though. Um, one of my charity incentives, which I didn't meet, was to get a Taiko Drum controller and play this. And I might still do that. But honestly, I don't think buying the Taiko Drum now is worth it. If I really like playing the game, then maybe. But I've already spent enough on the DLC. Uh, Neo World Ends With You. I'm gonna grind in the demo till I reach max level. I will be streaming that when it comes out. Uh, Smash. I'll be streaming the last DLC character whenever that happens. Um, I definitely want to do one more Spirit Journey episode once all the spirits are finished. Or once they hit 1500. So that'll be happening. I also want to do a stream where I finish Classic Mode with everyone just so I can finally finish up that mode since I did all the spirit stuff. Uh, this. Never going back to it. On stream, at least. Maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, they updated the game, and now the Tetris stuff works like it did in Puyo Puyo Tetris 1. Megalovania. I, 
could play Megalovania if I really wanted to. I, I do have the power. Animal Crossing, uh, when Nintendo eventually decides to do V2 and adds a huge update, maybe I'll go back to it. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, anything's possible. People actually, if I know people that have the game and want to play with me, I'd be glad to play online with them. Tetris 99 will be coming back tomorrow, actually. There's going to be a Maximus Cup this week for Mario Golf. So I'll be streaming that around 3 a.m. tomorrow after I do Battle Network. Uh, X Legacy Collection 1, anything's possible, but I've already streamed X4 years ago, so maybe not. Uh, Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. I do want to do single career mode on stream. Yeah. Oh boy, 3 a.m. That's when the Maximus Cups start, because they start at midnight Pacific time, and I live in Eastern. I do want to do the main career of Pro Skater 1 and 2 on stream. Uh, I need to find some good playlists of music, since uh, streamer mode just disables the music entirely. Uh, Rise, I will gladly do multiplayer streams if people are available. I still want to finish low rank multiplayer, though, uh, just to say I did it. And then, I don't know, because the thing is, I've fallen off the game hard since I beat the main story. But, uh, and again, anything's possible. I would be down to do a Clubhouse game stream at some point. Um, I love this game to death, and I've perfected it. I've gotten every medal in it. Uh, Mario Maker 2, I was doing Rubber Ross World, and I stopped in the last world. Maybe I'll go back to it. Don't know. Uh, I don't know how this got back on my stream, uh, or back on my Switch. I definitely deleted it after the last stream, so don't know. Uh, this game has my voice in it, so if you want to hear me do very minor voice acting, go ahead and buy this game. Um, I've actually played about, like, two hours of it. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, my character, I don't know where my character is in it at all. He's not, he's not a portrait character, he's a background voice, so, uh, you know, you can make a game out of trying to find me in it. So you get two games at once. Untitled Goose Game. Uh, I will actually go back to this someday. I never did the post-game quests. I think I'm going to do the speedrun stuff on my own and then do all the post-game stuff and just get like a little bonus thing out of it, even though it's been almost two years since it came out. Uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Don't think I'm going to stream it again, even with the DLC, but I may go back on 100% it at some point. One Step from Eden. Would love to stream this at, again at some point. In fact, if I, wasn't, if I didn't waste time talking, I might have actually seen it and decided, hey, let's stream that now. Um, I streamed it once when it came out, and I streamed the demo that way back in the day. I would love to, uh, put some time into this, especially now that there's balance patches for it. Uh, Metopia, I just don't have time for it right now. I would love to, I would love to play through it, but it's long, and I don't have the time for it. Already finished these, not gonna do it. Uh, there's definitely... Age of Calamity spent 25 hours in the demo alone, wow. How much, I don't know, I don't remember how much time I put into that. Total play time. Uh, it doesn't list the playtime, but it is in my top 12 at this point, so, behind Strikers. See, you see how, hear how low the volume is? That's, that's compared to the rest of my computer, that's why I have to crank the volume up way, way high when I stream from the Switch now. I used to have it set up a different way, but it caused a lot of echo, so it didn't really, uh, didn't really work too well. Uh, where's that person's name is? Hell yeah. Bravely is a series I would love to have streamed when it came out. Uh, but I've already played the first two games, and apparently second's not that great, so... That's a shame. Nope, that is way too far back. Three hundred eighty. so Animal Crossing is my most played game now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Super Nintendo Online. There are, I think, four or five games on that I want to stream. I want to stream uh, Star Fox. Star Fox 2. Never played either. Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country 3. Um, Wild Guns, which I've never played and I've heard is really good. Don't know if there's any NES games I want to stream. I think I would have streamed them by now if I had. Also, I think I kind of want to stream Stunt Race FX just, just because it's an interesting 3D game on the Super Nintendo. Mario Kart 8 I've never streamed, uh, would be open to it. Again, by the time I got my capture card, Splatoon was already on the Final Fest. That, that's how far into the Switch's lifespan I got my, uh, capture card. Stream this, stream this, stream this. Can't play this anymore. Streamed all three games in this. Definitely want to go back to Drill Land at some point. Um, I've, I, again, I've reached level three in it, never finished it. It was very frustrating. I remember the streams were pissing me off of it. 
at the streams I were doing were aggravating me. Would definitely want to go back and at least finish level 3 of everything. Streamed all of that. Streamed X7 and X8. I'd be open to X5 and 6 at some point, especially 5, but not anytime soon. Splatoon 2, probably won't go back to. Splatoon 3, absolutely. Actually, no, Splatoon 2, never done the DLC. Uh, before When Splatoon 3's release date gets announced, I'll probably do Splatoon 2's uh, Octo Expansion. Streamed all of this. On the fence about this, really. When I first started streaming f almost five years ago, I wanted to start streaming Super Robot Wars J. And I still want to, but now I actually own Super Robot Wars T, and I kind of want to play through that instead. I, I don't have a lot of patience for for, for turn-based RPGs, strategy RPGs. Like, I only do one every two, one or two years. So, I don't know if I want to do this on stream or not. I just don't have the time off stream to play anything. Namco Museum, I could see maybe giving that a stream or two, but at the same time, I kind of want to play those games on the handheld mode because I have something that lets me play Switch games vertically. Uh, Puyo Puyo Champions, not necessary. YouTube, obviously can't stream that. Uh, let's go Eevee, no. Ring Fit Adventure, yes. I started streaming it when it first came out. I did two streams of it last year, too, and I just fell off of it. I just haven't had no time to play it. Uh, if I can get a lifestyle where I can wake up early enough to play it every day, I definitely would. Streamed that for Halloween a couple years ago. Actually, no, I streamed it for Halloween last year. Sushi Striker, uh, I got this for 10 bucks. Maybe I'll stream it. I like the demo. Uh, gameplay loop is interesting, but I don't know. It, it's not worth a full stream, I think. Jump Rope Challenge, maybe I'll stream that. I've never played it. Th why am I going to stream that? That's stupid. For a win, play that on my own. Not going to stream it. Kill the Kill the Game If. Apparently Arc Systems Works will, like, assassinate me if I try to stream that, so I'm not going to do it. Green Game, don't know what this is about. It was on sale for a buck. It's got birds in it. I don't know. Okami HD, yes, at some day I will stream that. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, I will play it, don't know if I'll stream it. Spyro, Reunited Trilogy, never played it, never played any of the Spyro games, do want to stream all three of them at some point, don't know when. Uh, Trials of Mana, I already streamed it, I will stream it again someday with the one story I haven't done yet. Streamed it, streamed it. Kinda wanna stream it, I actually wanted to stream all of the No More Heroes games before 3 came out, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I might stream 3, maybe I'll go back and stream the other games at some point, but I don't know. Arms. I've played this game to death when it came out. I don't think there's any reason for me to stream it because there's nothing to do in the game right now. There's no more party crashes. I might do party mode, but who knows. I've started this game. I was going to stream it once last year and I never did. But uh, Battle Chef Brigade might be open to streaming that. I might just do it on my own. Streamed it. Played it. Streamed it. Don't know where i do with this. Maybe I'll stream it at some point. I'm two hours into this game and gave up on it, even though I really want to play more of it. Everyone says Cyber Sleuth is great, and from the little I've played, I really enjoyed. Don't know if I'll ever play it on stream or not. This, obviously, I can't stream. Uh, I started it. I built all the stuff I have. I want to play more of it. I want to do Breath of the Wild's DLC, which, ironically, is the next game on the list. I wanted to do Breath of the Wild's DLC with, um, with and VR enabled, and maybe do, uh, like, another run of the game with VR. But I also kind of want to stream it now, so it's like, eh, why bother? Uh, see Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Really want to play through the story in this, but I don't know if I could stream it. I'm halfway through this game, never finished it. Finished it, streamed it. Beat this, don't know if I want to stream it. Beat this, it was garbage. Streamed this, actually, when it came out on PC. Uh, played this, it was like, uh, it was a very short game, there's not worth streaming. No. Beat this. Uh, beat this, beat this, beat this, it was also kind of garbage, beat this, beat this except for 1% of the game, which I can't do, um, don't know if I go back and bother with it now, I might just wait for Silk Song. um, played through this many, many times already, never streamed it, at this point, streaming it's pointless, no, no one's gonna get anything out of it, no one's gonna be surprised by it, haven't even started this because I haven't beaten Bayonetta 1, <laughs> stream this, I streamed this on the PC, and it was laggy as hell, and then I bought it on the Switch because I liked it that much. I don't know why I have this. It was free to download, and uh, it comes with one board. I don't think I'll ever stream it. Played this for 90 hours. I'm absolutely not streaming it now. Golf Story I played through, and I'm not streaming. So there you go. That's everything on my Switch. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That was just to, to, to spend some extra time. Yeah, no on Fortnite. Absolutely not. So, what am I actually going to stream, though, in the near future? What do I have planned? 
I want to finish Monster Hunter Low Rank. That's probably going to be one or two streams. Battle Network 6 is going to be one or two streams. It might be one long stream tomorrow. Uh, Tribal Hunter. I only streamed twice. I want to finish that game. I, I want to support the creator. I want to get the game out there. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea because it's we. It, it can be kind of weird and, you know, very weird in a weird in a very very obvious way. But I very much like the game. Unironically, I backed it. I'm in the game. I have a cameo in the game. I would love to. I would love to finish that game soon. That and that and uh, Monster Hunter, the two things I want to get out of the way. Then maybe I'll start Tony Hawk on stream, and then. Um, at the, yeah, you know what? I should, because Rise Battle Network will probably be like another two or three streams. Uh, Tribal Hunter will probably be like three or four. Pro Skater, I could definitely get in before the end of the month. Um, at the end of this month, I'll be streaming Neo The World Ends With You, uh, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I actually, I actually don't know if I'll stream it. Maybe I will. Uh, and then on the... 29th is Fuga Melodies of Steel, which I'll stream. And then I'm good on games until uh, No More Heroes 3 comes out at the end of the month. At the end of August. Skatebird also comes out this month. Don't know if I want to play that in conjunction with Tony Hawk, though, so maybe I'll wait on that. And then in September, uh, I'll do some kind of mana game. Don't know yet. It'll probably be it'll probably be one of the DS mana games, just because it's one I haven't played yet. Uh... Metroid Dread will be in will be a definite in uh in October. Though I do really want to stream all four of the games leading up to it. I've done Zero Mission on stream before, and I've done AM2R. If I can, well, I mean I can. I want to do Zero Mission without speeding through it, like a full like story Zero Mission playthrough. I want to play Samus Returns, which I would be doing uh. You know, through, through an emulator. Don't tell anyone. Uh, if, if it doesn't work well on on through that, uh, I would be glad to play the original version, not AM2R again, just because I've already played it. Um, Super Metroid, which is on the Switch Super Nintendo Online, so I could do that easily. Metroid Fusion is a Game Boy Advance game. I could easily stream that, just like I could easily stream Zero Mission. And then hopefully I can get those four done before Metroid Dread comes out. Um, what else? I mean, I might start one of these games at the, before then. I don't know. There's there's so many that I haven't played. I just don't have the time and energy for it all. But I do know that in December, uh, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp comes out. I wanted to stream Dual Strike because that's the only one of the Advance Wars games I haven't played in terms of the GBA and the DS ones. I might get Reboot Camp first, do those over the course of 2022, and then do Dual Strike after that. But yeah, that's kind of the stream plans for the near future. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to stick with them. I might cut games out. Like, originally I was going to do World's End Club and Miitopia, and I cut both of those out. D Danganronpa Collection comes out in December as well. I'm considering getting that. I really liked what I saw of the first game. Uh, I wouldn't stream the first game, because I've already seen the whole playthrough of it. But I would maybe stream 2 and 3, uh, as well as the Bard game. Bard game? Bard game, don't you know? Um, I'd be up for streaming both of those, maybe. Uh, next year I'll definitely be streaming the Somnium Files sequel. And, uh, I will, I, I want to stream the Zero Escape trilogy at some point, too. But, but for that, I want, I want an audience for that. I don't want to stream that to, like, nobody. That's like an, I need people here for me to stream that because I love those games, or else it's not happening. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know what's going on. Not to really drag the mood down, and I, I... I went on a whole thing about this. Zero Escape Poggers, yeah. I would love to replay Zero Escape on stream. Um, good music. Good Zero Escape music. Actually, no. You know what? We need a, we need a good song. We need, we need a high-energy song to go out on. Hell yeah. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one I'm thinking. It's Ternary Game. There we go. Ternary Game. Have you heard of the Ship of Theseus? Have you heard of the Ass Slap Conundrum? That's like my favorite Zero Escape shit post. Hold on, let me see if I can find that.
every Zero Escape game, Protag, ow, my ass hurts, character that reminds me of the story where this scientist hit his ass on the edge of a table, but didn't feel it. Then, months later, he died of ass pain. They call it Temporal Ass Pain, or TAP. Protagonist, I'd tap that. Character, say we took two asses and we both slapped them really hard. There'd be a 56.000079 chance that one of them won't feel it. That pain didn't just get absorbed by the ass tissue, it's being transported to the future. They call people who don't feel ass pain until later, tappers. I wonder if they could transport ass pain to someone else. I've injected ass poison into all of your left butt cheeks. You have exactly two hours to solve my ass slap puzzle. Good stuff. That is what Zero Escape is legitimately like, though. That is Zero Escape in a nutshell. But yeah, and again, I don't know where my streams are going. Um, I talked about this a bit uh, on a stream that didn't get uploaded or saved. I have it on my computer, but I didn't upload it. I, I haven't been feeling great about streaming. My fifth stream anniversary is coming up in September. And, I mean, well, you could look at the results here. I tapped that Big Sigma energy. Yes, exactly. When I started streaming five years ago, I thought maybe, you know, I would evolve a bit more. I'd be a better presenter. I'd have a bigger audience. Maybe some more, you know, n nothing huge, but like... You know, maybe I would have found my niche, and I don't think I have. I, I can't really hold an audience. I'm not interesting. I lose my temper easily, and it's... I don't want to get into it, but... I was thinking of honestly kind of stopping streaming once my 5th anniversary hit in September, and like kind of calling it, calling it a stream career, and just kind of play games on my own. Maybe stream a bit, maybe stream, maybe stream occasionally. I think I might still do that, not necessarily end my stream career, but maybe get a lot more lenient on what I stream and how much of it I stream. Like, I might, like, like say, say World Ends With You came out in September, I might play it on my own and just stream it occasionally instead of all the time and try to beat it, just so I don't have to make time for it. But again, who knows what could happen. Between now and September, I... Again, a lot of the reason I don't stream more is because of my job. I'm not too happy with it. I don't know where life's going to take me. Maybe life will take me in a position where I could stream more and feel good about it. Maybe it won't. Maybe I have to sh cut back on streaming to focus on voice acting so I could build my audience. Like I said many times, one of my best friends made partner in less than a year on Twitch because he had a huge following from his voice acting. So, I don't know where my stream's going to end up. I don't want to drag this down too much. But, um... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see what happens. I like streaming, I like playing video games, and if I'm free to play video games, then I might as well stream it, right? But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Because it... I, I know they say stream smarter, not, not harder, or more often, but... I, I really don't know how to make myself stand out, honestly. <laughs> I'm not super interesting, and I think that that's why my streams are never gonna reach that kind of peak. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't want to go into detail about it, because last time I did it went into a whole rant about life and my job and why I wasn't happy with everything. And again, you know, I'm not saying I deserve anything specifically. I'm just saying that thinking about stuff makes me upset, so it's not worth talking about. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough here. I should probably actually edit this to be its own separate video. Um, or just cut it out and not upload it. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. That's going to be it for me tonight. If you want to check out more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people there. My auto host will take you to someone uh, as soon as uh, I go offline. Tomorrow, I will come back hopefully early with Battle Network 6 and finally finish that game. If I finish it before time runs... Oh, no, wait. Tomorrow's Battle Network 6 and Tetris 99. I forgot. So I'm going to be doing both of those. I'll be doing the Maximus Cup and hopefully finishing Battle Network uh, 6. And thus, ending the Battle Network series mostly. But yeah, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. You have a great evening and take care. Good night.